Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> My name is Alexander Rakic. I'm a UFC light heavyweight, ranked number 11. Вот я закрылся, и вот я щелк, вот я щелк. It's your style because you are so so explosive and you can learn it very fast. Okay, let's go. I'm excited. Hop, 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 hop. So today we will have a private session with the Alex. We will try, I will try to do a MMA or I will try to do something in MMA or I will just lay down on the floor and Alex will hit me, we will see, but probably I will try to, to do something and, and to protect myself. First we are going to warm up, short warm up, 10 uh -huh. minutes, uh, we are going to do some uh, typical warm up for striker, mm -hmm. for wrestler. For grappler, then we're gonna focus of some punches, maybe some kicks, close the distance, take down, mm -hmm. ground control. Mm -hmm. Because your body type is more for a wrestler and a grappler, mm -hmm. short, uh, strong. So if you choose to, to be an MMA fighter, I would mm -hmm. uh, recommend you to start from this. To start from this, close the distance. With your power, you can hold everybody on the ground. In front. Arms. Yes. Now we start to touch the floor with the hands. Yes, step back with the left. How many yeah. rounds do you have during the fight? We fight three rounds, five minutes. Uh -huh. One minute between is break. And if you fight for the belt, uh -huh. you fight five rounds, five minutes. It's a good functional training. Yes, it is, and it sounds a lot, five minutes, uh -huh. but when you are in shape, I know, yeah. Five minutes goes like this. I am flying. <laughs> if you can do this, you can do it the advanced way. It's you learn, you learn how to fall. Mm -hmm. Because if I lift you up and mm -hmm. slam you, ready. yeah, you have to know how to fall. If you fall wrong, if you fall maybe like this, you, yeah. you injure your shoulder. Yeah. And this, this is the secret about this train. Yes. Very nice. Good. I can fly. Basically, you do like the first one, but I don't want to recommend you to do this. I will just try. So. Oh, yeah. Very good. This is about the weightlifting. The explosive. He's explosive and he, that's the reason he can do it. 90% of the guys who do it the first time, they land like this. Really? Okay. You stand like this, yeah? To come a little bit closer with the right foot, yeah, and you do like a like like in in, 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 in the weightlifting the first ten percent come from like this, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, down, knee on the ground, pop, step, and the hands like an elevator, down, down, knee, knee. step, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. Look, I go down, up, mm -hmm. you, the yeah, knee you move comes, comes here, mm -hmm. step with this and hug your, your leg. Okay, it means that when I stay like this, I have center of the balance, yeah? Yes. And your knee, it, like when you will do a step, your knee will be... Comes in, yeah. yeah. Elbows close, close, yes, make fists, yes, and relax. Yeah, yes. Usyk always tells the same, like, yeah. relax your shoulders. Relax here. Yeah. Here, relax, relax. Кулак зажат, рука полностью расслаблена, плечи расслаблены. То есть вот этого не должно быть, зажатия не должно быть. The hands in boxing, you have to throw the hands with no power. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Like you want to catch the air. Hop, 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 hop. И плечики расслабил. Спокойненько, ручки. If you do like this, you can do it for a minute. Yeah, and you hold up. Then you are sore. Yeah. Okay, guys. I started English, so I will continue in English. Uh, if you don't speak English, we don't understand English. I will make a transcription. The goal is today. We have a one hour. One and a half, and during this hour we'll speak about the jerk, special jerk, because this guy used for the MMA, uh, they, he used a lot of uh, split cleans, split jerks. Uh, we'll speak about the balance, we'll speak about the correct position. Now I'll write the program, what we'll do today, and during this, each of step I will explain, and you will be with us. Enjoy! The first one, the gut, the gut squat. From this position, you can fall like this, like that, wherever you want. So just sit, slow down, and without stop, stand up with the same and not full extension. So basically, we do before the workout, before the session, around 15 reps, few sets. Uh, the next one, it's a, a good morning and uh, squats. This is the start position. Yeah. Our goal is to do a gut squat. Uh, good morning. And to switch to squat. So for this exercise, the weight is not important. Uh, it's a good to start from the, the 15-20 kilos bar for the beginners as PVC because it's, it looks easy but it's a little bit difficult. Yeah. That's why I don't recommend to do this with the 15-20 kilos. It's just if you're like not first time in the sport, if your muscle is ready, do this with the... I do this maximum with the 40 kilos. So. Okay. I tore my biceps ligament uh -huh. and I was like... Almost the doctor said to me, you cannot train anymore, you cannot compete anymore in this level. And then I was like physio and with Richie, we, we work on it. And it was... Yes, now your mobility is very good. 10, 8 doctors, you know, everybody said me something else, you know. It's the same how it was in my life, the same with the knees, with the meniscus. Like, 10 doctors told me that, like, you need to stop, no more. And just one told me, like, come on, you are walking. If you're walking, you can continue. When you will can walk in, just come and we'll do something. What is professional sport? It's cool. No, it's not cool. It's a, it's a job. It's a job and when you're professional, nobody asks you like, or you want this, or you, how do you feel? So, just do it. I move my knees forward. Your head is on this side. Yeah. Duck here. here. Yes. And here. I move step forward. Yes. And. <laughs> or you can do it like this. <laughs> this is the way if you have too much power. Uh -huh. There is another way where you don't need so much power. Uh -huh. Here. Here. Step. My head is next to your hip. Uh -huh. So. What I do, I push with this leg there. Uh -huh, you so. And push with the head. Okay. okay. I'm too wide. Uh -huh. Go down like an elevator. If I can, to touch my chest, okay. it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My head is tight. Mm -hmm. And now I push with this leg. And you move me to this yes. corner. You have to go like an elevator, like a surfer, like a mm -hmm. surfer here, here. So the way it's not so, it's not so far. I mean that when you squat yeah. down, do you like uh, distribute the weight more on the front leg or on the, on the rear leg, or it's or like the first or 50, like 50, 50, and 50, then, 50, and then yes, and now yes. So I move slow down. I do stop. I, yeah. 
Now what? Good. Make a punch. You make a punch. Yes. Do I need to make a step? Step. Because okay. you want to close the distance. Yeah. yeah. If you, if I do, if I shoot here, if I shoot here, you it recognize. Yeah. And then you just go away like this. You go away. Go away. It's yeah, and you will lose the center of the balance. Yeah. It will use it to punch. Keep your elbow here. 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 And relax. If you punch, turn, put your chin down, chin down. Yeah. You. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is. This is hiding. This is protecting your chin. Wow. I never you know. know. If you if you like head up, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. Or here? Yeah, it will protect. Yeah. yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. And here you protect your liver. If you don't protect your liver, if you punch like here, I can I kick. Mm -hmm. Смотри, смотри. Вот я закрылся. И вот я щелк. Вот я щелк. И все. The next one, the wrist. A few exercises how to develop the strength of the wrist. The goal is to place the wrist not so far from the knees. And the goal is to extend and bend. When you will move a little bit more forward, you will feel more pressure on the wrist. And it should be together, not much. One, one, two. Okay. It should be together. One moment. Just to hit and to work with your wrist. Uh, if you think about this, uh, of course it's a small, it's a small exercise. It's small, like it's not something general. But again, if you will do this, if you will spend just a few 10-15 minutes before the workout and you will do this special exercise, it's a good because when you hold the bar, it's very important for this position. So that's why you need to develop this movement and to. Warm up. Mm. Yeah, to warm up. Uh, clean grip. It should be a little bit wider than your shoulders. Mm -hmm. We will sit. And from this position we will press and we will hold the PVC. Yes. Six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Not a lot of people are ready to sit and to do the press with this type of grip from the squat position. And basically, what I recommend, if you have not enough mobility, it's just not for you, it's just for camera. So, to start to do the press from the bench, or from the box, because from this position it will be much easier to do just press from this position. But each time it should be five, six seconds start in the workout. Week by week, you can increase the height. For example, you can put 10 plates, on the next week it will be nine plates, one week, uh, one week less, it will be eight place, so step by step it will be lower, lower, lower and lower. And the goal is to do the press from this position. From here, just with directly from here. Stop. Uh -huh. Directly from here. Stop. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, you can also do it. You can turn. Mm -hmm. Heel out. Yeah. You go like on this. your, on this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You are here. Go back, down, knee between my legs. Step, go on this. And, yeah, look, the legs, uh, the hands not on the hip. Mm -hmm. Yes, here. So the low, uh, is, if it, the, uh, the lower position is better? Yeah. As low as possible? As low as you, you go, it's better for you. If I go here, yeah, and, yeah, you see, you have just to put your hips back. And mm -hmm. you're strong. Mm -hmm. But if I'm here, I can do back. nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And when you hit, uh, it's like, do you know this rule? When you want to hit, yeah. It, yeah. you need to look on the elbow. Yeah. When you look on the elbow, you always will hit. Ah, oh, okay. Go. When I do the sparring or the fighting, I watch the opponent here, like a like like a like a, like a triangle. Uh -huh. Here and here. So when you see to this, the triangle, shoulders, uh -huh. the shoulders, the chin. and the chin. Okay, like here. Yeah. Let's do the second hand also, because you're ready to step with the right hand. Like you do here, mm -hmm. and now you do the right hand and step forward with the right. Hop. One. One. Two. 
Okay. See how I protect, mm -hmm. protect mm -hmm. with the shoulder my, mm -hmm. almost my whole head. And this, it's also protecting yeah. again. Oh. Yes, hips. Yes. Like this. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Look forward. Better. Up, up, stand. One, two, too much. Too much. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. And now and I feel that like I'm tight. That's the reason I told you not to be like this. Relax your arms. Yeah. Relax, but the shoulders up and chin down. Uh -huh. I like to do like this with the left all the time. What is the style? What, what my is style, style, this, what I use in my last fight, like uh -huh. this and going uh -huh. down, I like more to counter. Uh -huh. if, 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 my, if my opponent punch me, I like to step out, counter or counter mm -hmm. immediately. First, I yeah. want to provocate my opponent, like with this uh -huh. Uh -huh. thing. So you get a little bit angry and you want to punch me. And this is my time where I have connect, where I can uh, do your counter. Okay. You know, it's a lot of mental in the head. Yeah. If I close here, it's good. If I not, it's okay. Okay. What can I do in this position? Nothing. Just you can do. It. No, no. <laughs> you can. Wait it's it's called sprawl. Sprawl. Okay. You put your both legs back. Like this? No. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Okay. This is a typical sprawl. This is more this. This is more a good striker uh -huh. who don't like to go on the ground. He ha he need to have a good sprawl. Uh -huh. A sprawl is a def it's defense from the takedown. But when I jump back, I'm like you have to, to you have to I you have to catch the timing, like the timing in the weightlifting from here. Mm -hmm. You have to catch it even before you hit my legs with your hand. I sprawl already. Uh -huh. You know. Go. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah. I sprawl already. And in this position you can you sit. Yeah, and put me on the ground. Yeah. Take your back. All <laughs> <laughs> the fun starts. When you do split clean, split jerk, it's very important how you balance. If you want to do this correct, of course you need to take correct split position. How to determine your individual split position? Feet shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. Leg line in front of your toes. Mm -hmm. Kneel down. Make a line in front of your knees. And put the leader S. After this, make a one step forward with your dominant leg, what you use for the split, and please pay attention, these two parts should be parallel to each other. So I mean, not like this, not like that, these two parts should be parallel. Yeah, it's good. And now draw the spur around the front foot. And it's how it should uh, look uh, when you do split clean or split jerk. When our feet look straight forward, we have this area of front. If we will turn a little bit, 10 to 10 degrees inside. We will have extra space. Yes. For some it's, it's not comfortable when they do this, this first time, but uh, we use this in weight leaping. And if you know Alexander Rusik, Yes, I know. So we, when we did the training session together, uh, I and, it. yeah, and he told me that I never know about this before, but they always, when they hit, they sure. always turn outside. Yeah. When we turn outside, we stay on a five. So this position is more stable than that position. So let's try. Move your body on the toes. One, two, three. And good. And now check. So for example, here it's good, here it's good. It's okay, it's bad. So it's mean that I need to move, move to do it wider. Again. One, two, three. 
reaction. Okay, good, good. It's like in martial art. If you have a, if you want to have a good strong hit, you need to repeat this a lot of a lot of times. So the same in weightlifting, the same when you do split, when you use split for the clean for the jerk, it's very important to do this automatically. So that's why in Soviet Union, in China school, the kids after school, after a workout, they spend around 30 minutes and they do around 100, 200 times this. Just like you don't need to develop your movement, like, uh, and you don't need to lift a lot of kilos. You need to like to feel good and to use different position and to stay to stay stable. Now we will take the PVC and we will try to combine all of this together. We will take the PVC with a clean grip. We will put the PVC on the head. We will move our body on our toes. We will count one, two, three. On number three. I move my body down and I extend my arms. But the most important, I don't do press, I don't do it like this. I just move my body under the PVC. Look. One, two, three. One, two, three. And only after this, I'm ready to check. So here it's not enough, here it's okay. Not like this, because a lot of people they do it like that. They check. First, we should fix to count one, two, three, and now only after this to check our position. One, two, three. In weightlifting, we do this maximum. We don't try to sit deeper because it's, it's difficult to stand up. For you, you can always play with this deeper, higher. Let's do a few more reps. One, two, three. Good. And one more. So, just in case, if you sometimes you will work with the coach and you'll feel that uh, like you do split jerk and you feel like you pain in your knees, probably very often this happens because when the athletes stay and this angle less than 90 degrees, it's a big pressure for this movement. So, this angle should be around 90 degrees or more. It's more safe. In MMA, we have this position. Under, over. You are under, I'm over. Okay. Now, we push in each other. Okay. I push you. Let's go. Yeah. Crazy power! Crazy power! You don't it's crazy power without control. Yeah, you don't. You need to breathe. It's like a movement, also. I follow you. It's like a wave. You are the wave, and I'm the surfer. You put your power, so I yeah. take your power against you. Okay, the next one. Let's check your hips. I'm trying to hold your legs. Uh -huh. You can push my head, you can do everything. So I need just to move out. To move out. From, I'm your, gonna... from your grip. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you want to take a break? Just give me a few, oh, okay. few hours. A few hours? Ну, что могу сказать? Это абсолютно другое. It's absolutely another. To have a power, it's not enough. You need to manage your power. You need to control yourself, breathing, balance. Something similar with weightlifting, but of course practice, practice, and practice. But as we know, the Shimon Kaleski, he was a good weightlifter, and now he is a good MMA fighter. Fighter, fighter. fighter. Who knows? Maybe I will not. For example, go on the uh, like like on the on the turtle position. You go here like this. Yeah, and on the headland. So I'm here. We was here. Uh -huh. So. It's not necessary that I do like this. Yeah. No. Look, I'm here, I'm just controlling. Look, mm -hmm. this is enough. This is enough. And I follow you. You put power, I put short power to control you, like this, mm -hmm. and then again. If you put all the time like this, after 30 seconds mm -hmm. you're done. Yeah, yeah. You know? You need 
to know the right movement when you put power. Yeah. Okay. About the hips. Yeah. I take your. I take so your. My leg. goal is to move out. Yeah. You can push my head down. Mm -hmm. Put your hips back. Everything. So you will hold. Your I hand. will hold like this mm -hmm. and follow you. Okay. And you can do whatever you want. And my goal is to move out from your grip. Yes. You can push my head down. Okay. You can shake me off. Everything. Go? Yeah. Go. I think it's the best moment to stop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was a good experience. Thank you so much. Probably it's just the beginning of the big career. And career. And <laughs> a big career. This man has potential to become a Thank you so much, great Alex. fighter. And how old are you? 33? Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> but for MMA, I mean, 90. What does it mean? <laughs> Sparring. <laughs> Sparring. The champion uh, in the heavyweight division in the UFC. You, you know how old he is? 35, 40. 41. 41. Yeah. So, especially for the heavyweight division and the light heavyweight division, 33 is not the age. And all MMA fighters, they basically come from another type of sport. It's uh, what the is the statistic. Statistic. So the most people it come depends, from. It depends. It depends from the boxing. Yeah. It depends from which uh, country. The U.S. fighters, they are more based on wrestling okay. because they practice a lot of wrestling. Mm -hmm. The European fighter came here from striking because in striking, in Europe is very good. Brazilians are more focused on grappling, jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. You yeah. know. So it's a mix. It depends from which country they came. But now the MMA is growing every day. So if nowadays everybody can do everything, wrestling, grappling, striking. That's the reason this sport is so nice. One quick question. What is your next goal? Uh, for the next 12 months, yeah. I want to be in the top five of the UFC. Mm -hmm. I can do it in one fight. If I get an opponent, uh -huh. he's a top five fighter mm -hmm. in the UFC. I beat him, I take his you place. Two weeks ago, I beat the number 11 in the world, uh -huh. Jimmy Manua. So I am now 11 ranked in the UFC mm -hmm. and one step closer to the top 10. So if I get an opportunity to fight the top 10 or top 5, even better. And to climbing up the ladder to fight for the title. My body weight now is 107 kilos. And your category? It's light heavyweight. I fight uh, 93 kilos. 93. So but I fought two 14, weeks. 14 kilos yes. more. But I fought two weeks ago, so I eat now two weeks, whatever oh, I okay. want. Uh, put some uh, weight on. Around what is your height? One, uh, 195. Back squat. Back squat. Back. 165, 165 kilos two years ago. Mm -hmm. Deadlift? Deadlift, 210 kilos three years ago. Best Where, clean? Best clean, 130 kilos. 30 kilos. 130. Jerk. And also in a split clean. Split clean, yeah. Well, because I saw the video and I will put this video uh, in this video. Yeah. So you will send me this video. Uh, jerk, 110, but we didn't test it for the maximum. Mm -hmm. It's not important. Yes. Two months, three months ago, I start with Richie, my coach. We start also training with a mental coach and I see the improvement also also in the last fight. Mm -hmm. I went in this octagon, I was like hungry like a fucking lion. I want to kill this guy. No, I was like, I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm, you know. And this is one, you know, when you make a cake and this is a sherry, you know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I call this when you dance, like in ballet, yeah. you, when yeah. you dance, dance. And and then you don't do this. Yeah. So it's like everything was perfect, perfect. and you all not did this. It's like you finish yeah. nothing. What I did for myself, I always two days before the competition, I try to imagine everything what will be on the competition, how I will do the platform, about the light, about this like ringtone. Someone shout like Alex, you are shit. Okay. So this guy with the red t-shirt, this guy with the yellow t-shirt. So you need 
to imagine this and as more, deta as more details you can imagine in your like, vision, it's the better. Because our mind can, uh, for our mind it's difficult to work with something new. When it's not a new situation for you, for the mind and for the body it's much comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need to imagine everything, what will be, like how you will move your body, what you will do and when it will happen it will be much easier for to work with this. I know from this from somewhere. We did this in my last fight now. We was sitting in the room and he he gave me the instructions like now think on the way to the octagon yeah. and I think now how you step in the octagon, now yeah. how the fight is, yeah. now how you celebrate, now how you do the interviews, you know. Yeah. Imagine the how crowd, you breathe, you know, how yeah. you breathe, everything. Sweetie, and everything. Okay. As more as more details you can put, it's better. Ребят, записали это видео на английском. Я очень часто выкладываю видео на русском, и другие ребята из других стран читают по субтитрам, поэтому не обижайтесь в этот раз. Если будете смотреть, будете вы читать на это субтитры. Я надеюсь, вы поймете, и каждый из вас подчеркнет что-то важное для себя, даже с этого класса. Поэтому спасибо за то, что смотрите, спасибо за ваши комментарии. Ваш Леха. Лех, Лех, один Thank вопрос. Yeah. Да, я заметил, после борьбы ты аж бледненький стал. Не, ну я словил бед, бледного, да. Не, ну это, конечно, нетипичная как бы, работа для моего организма. Вот, я хоть и делаю в последнее время функциональные тренировки, но, опять же, дело, тело не готово к постоянной нагрузке, там, допустим, взрывной нагрузке, то есть у нас в рывке, как там, в толчке, там, 2-3 подхода, как бы, все, отдыхаешь. Ну, нужно выложиться там в 10 секундах и все, а тут, как бы, нужно быть в напряжении и нужно стрелять очень часто, поэтому так получается. Лех, самый главный вопрос. Да. В последнее время у тебя много видео с бойцами, с борцами. Что, готовишься сам А ты знаешь, я ожидал к такому подлому вопросу. И знаешь, что я скажу? Я плюну тебе в лицо сейчас. А? Ты что, блядь, а? Ты что, блядь? Провоцируй меня, да? Ты что, провоцируй меня, да? So, guys, if you like this type of video, write about this. If you have some questions to the Alex, you can write the same below this video, and Alex will help with the answers below. See you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>